So Arta Baturbiev is the WBC, IBF and WBO light heavyweight champion. His mandatory challenger with the WBC is Callum Smith and he's apparently set to be ordered to face Callum Smith in his next fight. However, Top Rank, who are Baturbiev's promoters, have other ideas and they're trying to set up this undisputed unification between Baturbiev and Dmitry Bivol, which pretty much everyone in the world other than Team Smith and maybe Eddie Hearn would find preferable, right? We want to see... Baturbiev against Dmitry Bivol. Now, obviously, Eddie Hearn does work with Dmitry Bivol in some capacity, but my understanding is Dmitry Bivol has another promoter. Is it World of Box? And I forget who it is now, or is it, um, what's the guy's name who used to work with the Klitschko's? His name escapes me. But I think they're his primary promoters, and Eddie Hearn has some type of involvement in Bivol's career, but it's not the major involvement with regards to promotion. But Bivol's obviously a disowned fighter. So anyway, to quote Artur Baturbiev's promoter here, or a representative of top rank in Karl Moretti, he said, Bivol, Bivol, and Bivol again, <laughs> when asked about who he wants Baturbiev to fight. He said, that's the biggest fight you can make. It's one of the biggest fights in sport. I appreciate when mandatories come up, but when you have a full unification with two fighters like that, we know the manager of Bivol very well, so we'll reach out to him and try to make this fight for everybody because it's one of the biggest fights in sport. Goes on to say, we're going to try and make the Bivol fight as much as we can. And finally, he said that the only reluctance I could see is if he, as in Bivol, has been promised Canelo, because obviously that's a huge money spinner. Now, I believe top rank in this instance with regards to them wanting to make the Dimitri Bivol fight sooner rather than later, because Artem Terbiev is pushing 40. So if there's ever a time to make big fights, it's when a guy is at this age. And he had a tough time in there against Anthony Yard. He won convincingly. And with regards to the scorecards, I didn't actually cover that in my post-fight video. I didn't score the fight at the time, but the impression I had is that Baturbiev was in control most of the way. So maybe if I went and scored it, I would raise an eyebrow at the fact that they had Anthony Yard ahead. But either way, the point is Baturbiev did get hit quite a bit in the fight. He got cut and he had to overcome some degree of adversity. It wasn't a straightforward fight for him. It wasn't a walk in the park at all. And so some people are going to look at that and say, this is a reflection of his age. He went in there against a guy in Anthony Yard who is fast, yes, but I would say he's not as fast as Dmitry Bivol. So long story short, Baturbiev's chances of beating Bivol, you would imagine, are only going to diminish from here on in. Bivol's quite a lot younger than Baturbiev. So it makes sense for them to make the fight now. And also... For Artur Baturbiev, who else is there for him to fight, really? What if he ends up fighting somebody else and losing, and they miss out on that Dmitry Bivol undisputed unification? You see what I'm saying? So I believe top rank when they say they want to make the fight. Hopefully it gets done. Hopefully they can put Smith and whatever other mandatories are out there on the back burner, and we get to see yet another undisputed champion in boxing. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If the Smith fight does happen next, and let's say Bivol goes ahead and fights Canelo because it's a load of money. Um, I would expect Artur Baturbiev to beat Callum Smith. Maybe Callum Smith is stronger at 175. We know he's a very big guy, but I don't know. I, I, I would expect Artur Baturbiev to get in there, hit him, hurt him, probably stop him late. Although it wouldn't shock me if Callum Smith became the guy that was able to break Artur Baturbiev's KO streak. I hope I haven't been saying Bivol. <laughs> um... I, it wouldn't shock me if he was the one that was able to break Baturbiev's KO streak because he is a big guy. He did manage to take that shellacking from Canelo for 12 rounds and there was never really a point where I thought he was going to get stopped there. Obviously, Baturbiev is a bigger, stronger guy than Canelo, but still, maybe Smith has got the wherewithal. Maybe he's got the savvy and the veteran tricks to get through a 12-round fight. Do I see him beating Artur Baturbiev? I mean, if he can cut him, maybe. If something like that can happen, but in terms of beating Baturbiev, who's anywhere near on his game, I don't see it with Callum Smith. But hey, I've been wrong. We've all got predictions wrong. Maybe Callum Smith can turn up and upset the odds. I know there are a lot of people saying that, hey, look, his brother Liam Smith managed to upset the odds against Eubank Jr. Yeah, but Eubank Jr. is no art of Baturbiev. <laughs> you know, we're talking about a tried and tested proven elite level fighter here in Baturbiev. So anyway, give me your thoughts in the comments below. Are you sick and tired of the mainstream mindset? 
Does the dogmatic conformity and pathological ignorance have you tearing your hair out in frustration? Then don't be alone. Come and join our brotherhood on Patreon. We stand as a beacon of reason against an army of insanity. You'll gain access to my weekly topical podcast where we take more deep dives than Jacques Cousteau on an endless variety of subjects. There's also videos, interviews, live Q&As, as well as a vast back catalogue of previous episodes, including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen via the Patreon app or download in high-quality MP3. Connect with myself and hundreds of other members in our Element chat group. There's no contract, no commitment, you can cancel at any time, and it's cheaper than a Mickey D's McMuffin. Just head to my Patreon page via the link below this video and select the tier called The Brotherhood of Reason. I'll see you over there.